Hello everybody, um, I'm here today to talk about this uh, Cyclone Duelist build. Um, Cyclone is really good at one thing, which is attacking really, really fast. Um, right now I have over 8 attacks per second, and uh, with really good gear you can probably get over 10 attacks per second. Um, this synergizes really well with on-hit effects, and so with this build you get Static Blows, which is one of the most powerful on-hit effects in the game. You, have a, you end up with a 20% chance to shock enemies on hit. And so with a fast attack speed, you stack shocks on enemies really quickly. And then with Elemental Proliferation, you spread those shocks to all the other enemies on the screen. And this ends up doubling your damage from shock stacks in a lot of cases. Um, so this build for skills, Cyclone obviously is your main clearing skill the AoE. Um, it's not even bad single target. Um, and then you have Double Strike as your main single target attack. Um, double Strike, you know, it's cheap mana, it attacks quickly, it stacks shock pretty decently. Um, it's better single target than Cyclone. Um, and then your, your, your utility skills um, are going to be uh, Whirling Blades and Flicker Strike to kind of move around. Um, actually, since I deliberately have very slow run speed, I usually use Whirling Blades to move around. Um, and your main curse is going to be Conductivity, which gives you more shocks and more damage through your lightning damage. Um, I'm going to be doing a rare level 71 temple map here. Um, this is kind of a, a scary map, and so <laughs> hopefully I can do it while also doing commentary. Um, negative elemental, e elemental Weakness is a pretty scary mod, um, and then there's damage, and Piety is going to be interesting, but we're going to see if I can solo her. Um, you can see in the corner, when the slow screen's over, that I'm running uh, five auras. Um, purity, Hatred, Anger, Wrath, and Grace. Uh, anger, Wrath, and Hatred are the standard elemental damage auras, give you a lot of DPS, and Purity and Grace are both excellent, excellent defensive auras. So my resists are frighteningly low right now. Let's see how this goes. Um, and so a cyclone, uh, basically you travel in a straight line um, to where wor towards wherever you click, and it has a pretty short, they change it so it has a very short minimum distance, so you can, you can travel a very short distance or actually a very long distance, you can go the entire length of the screen if you want. Um, and usually um, you're going to want to try to control this distance so that it's just right. If you go too short, you're going to use a lot of mana for not very much damage, and if you go too long, you're probably going to end up spinning you know, half that distance is hitting nothing, just hitting air, and you're going to waste a lot of time. So it's kind of like the uh, Goldilocks and the Three Bears with the, the oatmeal. Um, not too hot, not too cold, you, just want, you want it just right. Um, you also want to try to line enemies... Oh my god, this lag. Okay, fraps plus this burning ground shit. Um, plus my computer is not a, not a particularly good combination, it seems. So I apologize for that. Um, you also want to try to line enemies up in a line so that, you know, when you, you, you cycle in a straight line, so you want to go through as many enemies as possible. Um, it's, you know, sometimes it's not possible, but, um, you know, you try to use Whirling Blaze to kind of get into position where you can get a proper trajectory uh, lined up on them. Um, this is Elemental Reflect. So you kind of, with the negatives re resist, you kind of have to watch out for it, but usually Elemental Reflect is no problem, because uh, <laughs> without Elemental Weakness, this build usually has 85 resist all from the Purity and uh, Elemental Adaptation um, passive node. Get some loot I forgot back here. Um, if you see a bunch of mages over there, like you don't want to just cycle in towards them from really far away. This is a bad idea. Like you're gonna take a lot of damage. Um, you, you, you need to use your skills to close the gap. So if I'm approaching them, I want either whirling blades in, or I want to flicker strike in, and you miss, you're instantly there on top of them. Ooh, a temple map. Um, instantly there on top of them and dealing damage uh, without taking damage. It's also nice. Um, a lot of times they'll start casting and you'll flicker behind them and their projectiles will miss. Um, another thing you can do when you're attacking enemies is um, if you cyclone laterally from them, sometimes their projectiles will, will go to the side of you. So like if I just try to scrape this guy with the edge of my cyclone, he won't be able to hit me while I'm cycloning past him, um, and I can damage him safely. Well, I just barely missed this guy, but I can get him anyways. 
it's kind of a tricky thing. Cyclone is um, has a lot of potential if you do it well, but it's wow, another temple map. It's definitely something that takes a lot of uh, a lot of work to get used to, and I'm definitely still getting better at it. Oh my god, tar zombies! <laughs> These tar zombies are a hilarious enemy because um, when you kill one of them, they slow you down in the cyclone, and you just basically sit there like almost not moving, just cycloning forever, like right now. It's nice for damage, but pretty inconvenient in terms of uh, actual clearing speed. Um, speaking of clearing speed, you can really kind of push it with this build usually. Um, you can go faster than I'm going. I'm being pretty careful because of uh, elemental elemental weakness. I don't want anything terrible. To oh my god, another temple map! should just record videos for every map I do, fuck. Oh my god, this tar. Um, just talking a little bit about the gear for the build. Uh, the gear I have right now is, it's pretty decent, but it's nothing, nothing amazing. The most expensive gear, piece of gear I have is my Wake of Destruction, which in default are like four or five exalts, which is, which is pretty substantial investment, but they are worth it. Um, they single-handedly give you a gigantic quantity of DPS and um, the ability, because basically the, the duration of your shocks is based on uh, how much lightning damage you do to a target versus how much HP it has. So if you have low lightning damage, your shocks aren't going to last very long, and it'll be hard to get you know a three stack or even hard to get a stack at all. Um, so wakes are really immensely helpful in doing that. And if you have like some really awesome you know lightning damage jewelry, like a amulet ring stuff like that. You can you can get away with using that instead, but um, those <laughs> really awesome lightning damage jewelry is also extremely expensive, and possibly even more expensive than wakes. This is a pretty nasty group of enemies. Chaos damage is um, usually not that much of a problem. It's it's hurtful because because uh, it's very hard to get resist for it. But once you get resist for it, it's it's not so bad. I don't even have resist for it yet. Um, and then like. Cast damage like the poison clouds or the alchemist um, bombs. Um, since you're constantly whirling around, uh, you really don't ever stay in one spot too long. So the poison arrow clouds and chaos bombs aren't even that dangerous because of that. Um, I was going to talk about gear. Oh yeah, wakes. Um, other than wakes, um, the important thing is your weapon. You want something that's fast. So you can stack shocks quickly and leverage your elemental damage. And you want something that has lightning damage. Um, and then after that, um, you usually want more physical damage as opposed to more elemental rolls, but a tri-elemental weapon is also uh, really good. It's it's more DPS with tri-elemental, but you get um, less leech. And so right now I have, you know, not even that great of a physical weapon. Um, and 2% mana leech is enough to, to kind of leech back most of the mana I do with the Cyclone if I hit a lot of enemies. Oh wow, that's okay, so that's 71 map number 4, and I have 68 too, so it's 5 maps already in this map. This is exciting. This is Physical Reflect. Physical Reflect usually isn't an issue at all, like it's um, pretty trivial, because this build has a lot of armor, and Cyclone makes for very small hits. Ooh, that's a little scary. Um, Cyclone makes her hits pretty small. Um, so your armor mitigates them really, really well. Um, right now I have nearly 10,000 armor, um, and then I, if I pop granite, I have 25,000 armor. So this is that's pretty good physical mitigation. It still won't save you from Brutus's smash or Vol smash, though. Those things you have to dodge. Do not try to tank those. Um, I have stupidly tanked Brutus in uh, in Colonnade because I have blind. Um, but it's basically just you're, just you're just kind of rolling the dice with that because even though even if you have like 60% block and 75% uh, chance to miss from the blind, there's still a small chance it'll all get through and he'll he'll destroy you. So there's no reason to tempt fate. And that's wow. So that's um, seven maps. Bog and Arachnus. So it's uh, it's five seventy ones. Oh my God! This tar.
necromancers keep raising them, so there's just more tar everywhere. Uh. Oh my god, what is this room? Um, flasks and sustain, uh, this build gets, um, I think 5.4% life regen per second. And so right now I have around 250, uh, life regen per second, which is, which is gonna help you sustain. Also, I have one healing flask, which I don't usually use. And then a seething flask for instant healing, which is really great if you're taking a lot of burst damage. And then I have, hy I have a hybrid, pla hybrid flask <laughs> for mana and life, and then just a mana flask. I don't really need, I can actually drop the mana flask at this point because of the leech I have, but if you don't have leech, you're probably going to need a hybrid and a mana or two mana flasks. And I'm lost. Too busy talking. Oh, more tar. Um, Flicker Strike is really good for, I should be assassinating the Necromancers first using Flicker Strike. Um, casters in general, especially um, the guys who cast Lightning Thorns, they're the Black Guard Mages. Um, you want to actually go in and, and kill them first before you attack anything else, because lightning thorns, lightning thorns is like probably the biggest danger to this build. If you're whirlwinding, if you're cycloning, ah, cuts called a whirlwind. If you're cycloning a big pack of enemies and uh, lightning thorn is applied to them, um, you just kind of you might just randomly die, uh, which is not not really a fun thing to experience. Probably almost all my deaths in this character are uh, are lightning thorns or desync related. This is piety. Okay. I'm gonna clear the rest of the map before we went to piety. I might have already done it. So I'm gonna switch around some gear. Uh, no, there's a little bit more. Um, speaking of desync, it's something that has to be talked about with Cyclone. Um, it's one of the skills most affected by desync. Uh, y you see all these, you know, these terrain and doodads in the ground. In some parts of the map, you won't be able to Cyclone because the game thinks that you're stuck somewhere. You know, there's a wall in the way, um, what have you. And oftentimes, because of desync, you'll actually see yourself in a different location. So maybe if I'm stuck in a corner over there, unable to Cyclone, but I see myself on this carpet. It'll show me cycloning on my screen, but in reality, quote unquote, um, the game's reality, I'm not actually cycloning, I'm stuck and just dying. Um, in this build, you really need to be constantly cycloning to stay alive. If you stop, you're dead. Because um, it's, you know, it's how you're leeching, um, it's how you're damaging enemies, it's how you're kind of moving around to stay out of attacks. Um, so, movement is life. Okay, so for Pieties, because this is a elemental weakness map I'm going to put on... Saffle's frame. Get more resists. Uh, let me see my lightning resist. Okay, so 99% lightning resist. This is what I want. First, uh, you want to. Usually there's um, ads around here somewhere. Here we go. I'm going to clear these out first. going to lure them out. let piety kind of scream in the background uh, over there. What is this? A freaking, oh my god, substantial physical damage to them. I guess piety doesn't, isn't affected by that. Okay, uh, all the ads are dead, and I'm just going to attempt to face tank piety. Let's see how this goes. It's 
not bad so far. Kind of expecting some massive damage at any second. Um, and I've also put Enfeeble on uh, on her specifically. Um, usually Temporal changes your defensive curse. Um, and it allows you to dodge things like Bruise of Smash, Revolve Smash, but against Piety, since a lot of her damage is from this lightning storm that comes down from the sky, uh, Enfeeble is actually a better choice. And uh, there you have it, Piety's dead. Um, that was pretty easy. Uh, I mean, I, I'm, I'm kind of cheating by using Sapples. Um, and it's, it's a nice thing to have, but with 85% resist all in a non-elemental weakness map, I'm pretty sure you can also solo her. Anyway, thanks for watching um, this intro to Cyclone, and uh, hope you have fun if you try to build out.